Would you consider buying a property in Italy without visiting the country and the area where you're intending to buy? Of course not. Welcome to this video entitled, How to Buy a Property in Italy, When Viewing Italy Homes for Sale. This video is about the steps required to be taken when viewing properties in Italy. So make sure you've got your travel and boarding arrangements in place in good time, before you do come to Italy. One way to do this is by checking out Airbnb. You'll find an affiliate Airbnb URL link in the description box below this video, offering some great deals to get your viewing mission off to a quick start. So, armed with a list of properties to view that you should have arranged with local real estate agents before you left your home country, now the real work begins. You know your budget, you've a good idea of the type of property you want from viewing all of those captivating images on the internet and in the glossy brochures, and you know the area you want to buy in. Now you're ready to go. Before you start knocking down the front doors of the local Italian estate agents and realtors, would you like to get an ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on working and living in Italy? It's so easy to access. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll never miss out on future videos again. Plus, don't forget to watch the video to the very end where you'll get details on how to download your free ebook entitled, You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Now, is it safe to let you off the leash to sniff out your dream Italian property? Probably, so here's part 7. The steps required to be taken when viewing properties. Now, before you even step into the first property that you view, be prepared to make some compromises along the way. For example, your budget might not quite stretch far enough to get the amazing lakeside view you always dreamed about. Here are some more considerations as your viewings take place, however the first one is not to view a property, but to visit a bank. 1. Open a bank account. For any bank operations, as a rule, you should open an account with an Italian bank, ready to make bank transfers when you eventually buy the property of your dreams. Subsequently, you'll be able to pay ongoing utility bills and other day-to-day -day living expenses from the same account. 2. If you're looking for a villa in the countryside to restore, or a quirky coastal apartment to refurbish, will your budget allow for any unforeseen costs? For example, such hidden costs could involve changing the use of a barn from a farming designated property, to a residential property. 3. Determine what the land boundaries are. If you have an olive orchard, does anyone have a contract to work it? Do members of the vendor's family have access to the land under long-standing family arrangements? 4. Inquiries about the cost of obtaining permission to undertake building works, and if any restrictions are in place. The Comune council, officers, known as the Palazzo Communal, should be able to help, although this would likely be left for your solicitor or lawyer in Italy to undertake this research, and find out for you. Don't always take the word of your realtor or estate agent on matters such as this. Always ask your legal advisor to find out. 5. When any property is referred to as habitable in Italy, this will have a totally different meaning to what you are probably used to. Any resemblance of a property that has a roof and four walls, irrespective if the basic utilities are connected, is deemed to be habitable. Remember, if the former farm building you're looking at housed sheep and donkeys from the rain and snow, then it's habitable. 6. If you view a property that's furnished to any degree, always ask what's included in the purchase price, and make sure it's in writing when it comes to making an offer on the property. Otherwise, you'll find that the vendor will take virtually everything with them, including the light bulbs. You'll have to negotiate a price for anything you'd like to stay in the property, and so ensure you have this written into your contract to buy. Owing to the number of historic properties available for sale in Italy, many have been neglected for years. Although these properties look fine and rustic online, they're likely to be riddled with damp and structural problems. Usually, they don't even have working electric or plumbing, hence the reason why it's so important to view the properties in person, and make copious notes as you progress through the viewing. Always advise the realtor or estate agent, and the vendor, that you will ask a surveyor to check out the property. 7. Warning. 
always confirm that the vendor is the rightful owner of the property. Don't fall foul to scams such as fake owners selling property they don't own. Be very wary of vendors who either won't meet with you or the real estate agent has never met before. Keep your wits about you, and make sure you get your legal advisor to check out the current ownership of the property. Another trap to avoid is where the property is owned by more than one member of a family. The property might be the subject of a long-running family dispute. Again, ask questions, and ask your legal advisor to check the current ownership. Once you've identified a number of properties you want to seriously consider buying, the next steps involve preparing to make an offer on a property, and this is what we'll be covering in the next stage of the Italian property buying process, in the next video, part 7, entitled, The Steps Required to be Taken When Offering on Properties. Don't forget to check out the Airbnb URL link in the description box below this video for some great deals if you need to extend your stay to finalize and close your property purchase deal. In the meantime, and to ensure you don't miss out on future videos and updates on expat essentials for Italy, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then hit the bell icon. And, don't forget to download your free ebook entitled, You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. The URL link is in the description box, just below this video. Finally, don't forget to share this video with friends, family, business colleagues and associates. Thanks for watching, and make it a great day. Until next time, ciao for now.